What are server actions in Next.js and why are they so hyped right now? In simple terms, server actions allow us to call functions that run on our server directly from our front-end code. For example, when we enter data into a form and we want to submit it to create a database entry. Now, normally this would require us to set up a post endpoint on our server and then make a fetch request from the front-end to this endpoint. Because our front-end can't do database operations, since this requires access to the database credentials, which we can only use on the server. But with server actions, we can just create a function and add this use server database directive at the top, which tells Next.js that this function can only run on the server. And then you can just call this function from your front-end code. In a React server component, you can do this by passing this function as the action value to your form. The cool thing about this approach is that this doesn't require any JavaScript. Alternatively, you can call server actions from client components by importing them and calling them like a normal function. Under the hood, this actually does execute a POST request to the same URL, just that we don't have to set up this POST endpoint first. If you want to learn how to use these server actions in a real project, you can watch my Next.js e-commerce tutorial on YouTube.